God created this universe for you to enjoy and to have that joy and, and delight that wisdom has. But wisdom's correction also teaches us discernment. We need to learn how to make choices. The learner must decide what words to believe, who to trust. And we have to, to understand that there are choices that we have to make and contrasting voices that we have to listen to. Part of folly's deception is to disguise herself as wisdom. In this chapter, we learn that, that folly uses the same words, offers us the same kinds of things. But we need to understand what is the difference between the two of them and come to the right decision. Folly eventually reveals herself as a mocker. I don't know, they drove, drove all over the Mona Lisa. <laughs> I gave her a necklace that says, I don't know, something on it. The teacher relies on the power of knowledge to lead uh, its bearer into, into the right choices. Wisdom relies on knowledge to help us make the right choices, on persuasion. Teaching that begins with correction intends to lead the students to the place where they can decide for themselves. We can't always decide for other people. We want them to be able to decide for themselves, to be wise in themselves. Many parents are concerned about the effects of media on their children. Here, Barney is a horrible influence. Uh, I'm not sure why, except grow to like purple or whatever it is. Um, but we are concerned about the effects of that. On the other hand, knowing the fear of the Lord helps us with those fears about those bad influence. And in fact, in this chapter, the stress is not put on the power of influence of the influences in this world. It's put on the power of persuasion and decision making and leaves alone all of those influences out there. It says you don't have to worry about them. Worry about the fear of the Lord. Worry about making right decisions. Focus on that. Wisdom recognizes that there are, po that there are negative and positive influences in, out there. But instead of attempting to shut off all of those negative influences, she says, learn to discern, decide, learn to make decisions about what is right and wrong, or what is about as good and bad. You have to learn to discern and decide. The student has learned through practice how one makes wise choices. And so we need to give our students time to practice making those choices and then helping them to see what, whether it was good or bad, and then helping them to grow. Hopefully we can do that through words. Sometimes you have to do that through hard knocks. The reader of Proverbs is called to join with that young man in making a decision about, their, about wisdom's instruction. You are asked to make a decision about wisdom's instruction. I hope that's a big deal to you, because for many people in this world, it's not. 44% of the respondents at a Baylor University study say they spent no time seeking eternal wisdom. 44%. No time seeking God's wisdom. 19% said it's useless to even try. Why would you even try? God is placing before each one of us a choice. Are you going to try, or is it just a useless kind of thing? 46% of respondents told a LifeWay research uh, group that they never wonder about if they'll go to heaven. Do you ever ask what the consequences of your behavior are? You know, the fool says there's no God wise person says there are consequences and we follow after what God has to say. 28% told a LifeWay research group that it's not a major priority in my life to find a deeper purpose. They just didn't care about wisdom. 28% of the people in the world, you are asked to make a choice. Are you going to follow wisdom or are you going to follow folly? 28% said it's not even a big deal. It is a big deal, and God has presented us his choice. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for presenting us a choice, two doors, door number one, door number two. Folly on the one hand, wisdom on the other. The way of righteousness or the way of the world. Lord, we pray that you would help us to make that decision. Lord, we pray that you would help us to focus on you, to learn what is right and wrong, and learn make good choices when we face all kinds of influences. Lord, we pray that you would help us to learn to discern. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.